You know, a lot of paintball is played in a recreational capacity where you're playing in like five on five, up to 15 on 15. We're not talking about all these big team battles that you see me go out to quite often. Most of them are a recreational day. And I want to talk to you about the tactics of battling with a ridge line. This is a hill at a ridge. So remember, ridges and hills are different. A ridge is an actual drop off. So if you can attack a hill, coming up it the way this is, then you can obviously see you're below somebody's line of sight. And a sight line is very important. Because if I, in this case, I can attack this hill without them ever seeing me just by staying low. I come up low, I blow their sight line, and when I finally reach the top, I can either use a tree at the top of the hill in the same way I would a ridge, or I can just come straight up and start shooting, and then duck back down. I do not endorse prairie dogging but in a situation like this, if you can use other players for distraction when you come up and come back down, you know, you're doing yourself a favor. So in playing a ridge, there's going to be two ways to play it, attack or defend. Now I'm going to explain to you the how you play that tactic later, but first I want to explain to you how to play each side. Now, I'm at the bottom of this ridge right now. I could be either attacking up it, trying to take people at the top of it, or I could be on this side of it trying to defend those who are going to try to make their way down into it. So let me explain that by demonstration. So what's wrong with this ridge here for me playing off of? Well, if this is all I got, then I play with what I've got. You know, I, I'm down here, I come up over the top, it's what I have to do. But if I can find a tree that's on the edge of the ridge to let me to play out off of, that allows me to not only play with the rest of my body down, but allows me to rock out and rock back in. So if you can, find a tree that is right at the top of the ridge to allow you to defend better. So here I am behind this tree, I'm going to snap out, and it allows me to use this tree to come sideways. That lateral movement is so much better, I can work both sides instead of coming up straight up line. All right, we got a perspective shot here to give you a clear understanding of sight line, both from an offensive and defensive position. You can see here, all I have to do is drop down low, and now I'm out of their sight line. The defender, or the, I'm sorry, the attacker on the opposing side has to get close to that hill edge in order to see me and shoot me, unless he, unless he knows exactly where I'm at and is going to drop one in. So as a defender, and I'm taking this position... Stop. Why am I as far back from the lip of the ridge as I am? One, it increases my sight line up and out. If I see more, I can shoot more. It increases my ability to take cover as an opponent approaches me. And three, it allows me to shoot and take cover at the same time if a bunker situation does occur. I don't want to just be here. I want to be here and then over here and then back here. I certainly don't want to take one standardized position. That leads to being predictable and we all know what happens in paintball when you're predictable. It's too much for any man!